3.36 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin was just seized as part of the Silk Road Association, this coming from the Department of Justice, an absolutely staggering amount of money. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you guys to go do your own research. We have an article here from Watcher Guru. I will provide the original source link in the description down below. Let's go ahead and read through this and then I'll give my thoughts. Department of Justice seizes 3.36 billion dollars with a B cryptocurrency in historic conviction. The Department of Justice seized $3.36 billion in cryptocurrency today in what is a historic conviction. The U.S. Executive Department announced that James Zong has pled guilty to fraud in connection to the Silk Road Black Marketplace. It was revealed today that New York attorney Damian Williams has led the seizure of over 50,000 Bitcoin in connection with the Silk Road dark web fraud. This was addi additionally executed alongside Tyler Hatcher, a special agent in charge of the IRS criminal investigation LA office. Silk Road fraud case leads to historic seizure. A search warrant issued against James Zong's Georgia home led law enforcement to 51,676 Bitcoin. The massive seizure was valued at over $3.36 billion and is the largest cryptocurrency seizure in U.S. history. Additionally, it was the second largest financial seizure ever. Think about that, guys. The second largest financial seizure in history. Damian Williams stated James Zong committed wire fraud over a decade ago when he stole approximately 50,000 Bitcoin from Silk Road. For almost 10 years, the whereabouts of this massive chunk of missing Bitcoin had ballooned into an over $3.3 billion mystery. Thanks to state-of-the-art cryptocurrency tracing and good old-fashioned police work, Williams continued, law enforcement located and recovered the this impressive cache of crime proceeds. IRS agent Hatcher added, Mr. Zong executed a sophisticated scheme designed to steal Bitcoin from the notorious Silk Road marketplace. Once he was successful in his heist, he attempted to hide his spoils through a series of complex transactions, which he hoped would be enhanced as he hid behind the mystery of the darknet. The Silk Road is a notorious corner of the dark web that was in operation for about two years. Moreover, according to the Department of Justice, from 2011 to 2013, the platform was utilized for illegal drugs, illegal services, and to launder funds. The DOJ added that Zong would utilize the Silk Road to deposit anywhere between 200 to 2,000 Bitcoin. Subsequently, though, uh, through a series of withdrawals, Zong would hope to defraud even more Bitcoin than he deposited. Zong has pled guilty to wire fraud, which carries a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison. So think of it like this. He's pleading guilty. He did this about 10 years ago. If he would have been found guilty 10 years ago of the crime at the time of when it took place... He'd already be halfway done with this sentence, maybe more so if he had good behavior, if they factored those elements in, which they probably would in these kinds of circumstances. So now he's going to have to start from ground zero. Think about that. All of this for what? For what? It's been seized. So Silk Road, as was mentioned here, a lot of people were using it for illegal activities. In fact, in the early days with Bitcoin, this is what gave people a bad reputation um, whenever they were thinking of Bitcoin. Or I should say it gave Bitcoin itself more of a bad reputation. The news outlets were covering it, saying, oh, you know, Bitcoin is used to buy illegal things. It's used on the dark net. It's using it to buy drugs. And yes, there were people that were doing that through this specific avenue, through the Silk Road. However, you can clearly use Bitcoin to buy a lot of other things besides drugs. And, and the reality is, we look at fiat, how much fiat is used to buy drugs. Pretty much all of it, right? So to make the argument like, oh yeah, you could buy drugs with Bitcoin, therefore it's bad doesn't seem fair when you could say the same thing, but actually even worse, 
with fiat. The benefit with crypto is the blockchain. You can see transaction history. And lo and behold, here we are. It may have taken 10 years, but the system's been refined a little bit more. And this individual who stole this money, they were manipulating the system to a staggering amount of money. Again, we're talking about over three billion dollars over three and a quarter absurd amount of money and also think of it like this what is the price at right now twenty thousand seven hundred dollars right so it was previously sixty nine thousand dollars you do the math on that we're pushing like around ten billion dollars or so of what this value could have been uh right at its peak so yeah, they caught the guy. They caught the guy. Um, good that the Bitcoin's been taken off of that person's hands because who knows what they would have been doing with that next. But what exactly is going to happen to this next? I think it's a very curious question. If it's anything like what has happened in the past, from my recollection, there will be public auctions, and in order to enter into the auction, you have to have a certain amount. Um, that you're already putting up immediately, and then you can do the additional bids afterwards. I remember something along those lines about two years ago or so, and that could create an opportunity to where you have a private sale, the highest bidders are able to acquire this, and then there you go. Now, average people, I mean average, right? We're talking about people that are still extremely wealthy that are gonna be doing this in um, these mass collections here. They may very well come in and acquire this set of funds and then lo and behold, we can go ahead and continue on with the market. So curious to see how the market is going to react to this news. Personally, I think that this is incredible good news because, again, this individual, they did something that was illegal. They were caught for doing those illegal things. And on top of it, that Bitcoin, we don't have to worry about it all just dumping from one person on the market all at once right now. More than likely, it's going to go through this auction phase. So tell us what you guys think about this down in the comments below. I want to tell you guys, I do have a live stream later this evening that's going to be through with EverEarn. I would love it if you guys can come stop by, hang out with me. I also have a video I did yesterday on Shiba World Cup. It would mean a lot if you guys are just active supporters of my channel, you enjoy my content. I am trying to cover additional projects and develop relationships with these other projects, getting to know them better, figuring out um, what else is going on in the world of crypto. So if you guys can, go check out that video. Go check out the live stream later this evening. The video from yesterday was a sponsored video. This video later this evening is also a sponsored video. So I'm transparent with everything with you guys. Uh, I appreciate all of you being here. We're very close to 20,000 subscribers, by the way. Thank you so much, my Patreon supporters. A double shout out thank you to We Love SafeMoon.com, Victor Vegas, and SafeMoon Oz for being higher level patrons. Also, thank you to my YouTube members for your guys' support. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, like button. God bless, and we will see you in the next episode.